Hi, welcome back to Garden Ninja. Now today, this has arrived in the post and it's a grass strimmer from Still. So they've asked me would I do a product review on whether this bad boy measures up in the garden when it comes to lawn care. So come on, let's get cracking. thing to note is that this is an electric strimmer but it doesn't have a cable so it's rechargeable so one of the drawbacks with normal strimmers is you've got a big cable that you're lugging around being careful not to strim over it or trip over it you don't have that problem with this one because it's completely cordless so another nice feature of this still edge trimmer is this rubber handle now you can move this around into different positions by unlocking this wheel not here as you can see depending on which preference you have you can move it, well, I quite like it at 90 degrees. So there's mine. But you've also got this rubberized handle here, which is just a nice little touch because when you're holding one of these, maybe out in the midday sun, you can get a bit hot and bothered. And even with gloves, your hands can slip. Whereas with this, it feels a bit more secure. So I quite like that as a nice feature. So before you use any mechanical tools, strimmers, lawnmowers, you need to make sure that you've got the right health and safety gear. So what you're going to need is a pair of these super slick and sexy eyewear, otherwise known as protective goggles. So there's some really interesting safety features with this model, because not only have you got sort of a one, two, three lock system that you need before it starts, but you've also got this little space here. So if you have a lock, that's for an activation key. So you're going to pop in the safety key there, and then you've got one, two, three switches. So you go one, two, hold the bottom where this finger is, so I've got the safety pin out so this isn't going to start because this is the circuit breaker. I've taken that out because I want to show you the blades at the end and also this guard. Now the guard goes into two positions as I've already mentioned and that protects you from basically smashing up the propeller or the twine if you've got a twine in there from getting damaged but it does mean that you're restricted as to how far you can get. So you can lift that up and go manual, but be careful because if you get too close with any strimmer, you're going to damage the blade or the surface that you're strimming against. So I've got the safety pin out, it's turned off, but I'm going to show you these blades now. So these are the plastic, what I call propeller blades, but you can also fit some strim line or, or uh, strimming twine into there, which you loop through, and that's like a piece of plastic that's um, a lot thinner than that, that will spin round. So, in my experience, the plastic will get you a closer cut because you can have it slightly longer than these, but these are more resilient. So I prefer these and also, I'll show you at the end, they have a little storage house in here, which I think is a really nice feature um, of this still um, edge trimmer. So I find these relatively easy to put on compared to the twine that you'd usually have to thread through there. So the larger end there goes over that little nut and then you literally pull it, can you hear that little click? and then that's on now. So it will rotate with this one and that will cut the grass. If they get damaged or need replacing again, make sure it's safely turned off and that you've got gloves and your battery um, connectors out and then you can exchange those relatively straight. So you can see the amount of charge that the still edge trimmer has by this battery gauge here. So once you put your pin in, which goes in that side, you can press the on button, there we go, and it will show you, if I get a bit closer, we've got a full charge there, but it basically gives you how much charge the machine has. When it's charging it'll flash, so you know roughly how long you've got. Um, on the instruction manual it says that you've got about 20 minutes with this still model, um, which is probably long enough for most gardens however if you've got a larger garden it would be better to have separate batteries because you're going to have to put this down and recharge it before you can continue so bear that in mind when you're buying any strimmer so there we have it my review of the still 
lawn trimmer. Now, I quite like the product. I think it's well balanced. I really like the fact that there's a little container where you can put the replacement blade because more often than not, when one gets damaged or um, you need to replace it, you then have to run around in your garage or shed trying to find them. So I think that's a really nice touch. It's relatively lightweight, like I said. The only drawback is I would like a replacement battery. But other than that, it's a really good... So if you've liked this video, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel where there are plenty more garden design, hints, tips, hacks, and now product reviews. If you've got questions, put them in the comments and follow me on social media for more from me, the Garden Ninja. Happy gardening.